cold. But let's warm up because I'm cold. Can't believe I'm saying that living in California. I'm fucking cold. Ah, I'm sorry for all my friends in Minnesota. This fucking sucks. We need a third layer out here. To everyone making fun of me for complaining. Yeah, it's 50 and sunny and I'm cold. I can't go back. I'm stuck here. Today I'm at Aruga, Ar, 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 I'm at this skate park. I have, uh, I have a really bad Walmart board with, it looks like Walmart wheels and probably Walmart bearings and X Games trucks. So X Games trucks. Here I have my obsolete board with Thunder trucks. Wreck wheels, bones bearings, solid good name brand companies. I'm gonna do flat ground tricks with this board, compare them to flat ground tricks on this board, and then you'll see why you should invest in a good solid board, if you're, even if you're just starting out. Like, it's gonna suck. I did start out riding an X Games board from Target when I first started, but it's no excuse. Go to your local skate shop, get a board, Get a good board, go to skateboardingisobsolete.com and get this board, link in the description. We're gonna go do some flat ground tricks, then I'm gonna do some manuals, then I'll hit that rail over there. Maybe I'll hit these, these ledges that I'm sitting on. But no one's here, so I can really just do whatever I want. No one cared. First thing first, we're gonna do a roll test. I'm just gonna push that behind me. I'm gonna see how far both of them go, just how they've set up right now and then we'll see which one goes further. So just regular push. First one, Walmart board. It hit the rail. Now mine. We all know the Walmart board. I'll go try it. Redo on the Walmart board. So even though the Walmart board hit the rail, my board obviously went, like, the Walmart board would not even, my board still kept rolling through the grass even. The Walmart board wouldn't even have made it to the grass. My board won, Walmart board zero. Alright, now we're going to do the pop test. I'm going to ollie over it with one board and I'm going to ollie over it with the other. So, let's see how it goes. Woo! It was a lot easier on that board. This one was a lot more difficult. But now we're going to do all like kick flips, heel flips. We're just going to do straight eight on both and see how they look compared to each other. Why would I bottle flip? It's all about cone flipping.
there's not proof. I did two in a row on this board. I landed on one with that board. Let's get the rail. start skating, gift it to them, Christmas just passed, yeah, well, Christmas is coming right now, but when I post this, it will be past Christmas. So yeah, I guess it wasn't terrible skating the Walmart board, but it definitely was not fun or enjoyable for my level. I kind of want to break it, 
but I feel like someone would comment on it and be like, oh, you wasted a perfectly good board. But it's not perfectly good. It's chipped right here. It's peeling. Like, it's like it's not... A, well, it was from Walmart. It wasn't a good board to begin with. But I think it would be fun to save and do something else with later. So, I mean, eventually you'll see it break one day. 